Hi. Welcome to Penetration Testing in Linux YouTube channel. On this video, I will list top 7 map NSE scripts for Recon. Map, Network Mapper, is an open source tool for network exploration and security auditing. It was designed to rapidly scan large networks, although it works fine to scan single hosts. Map uses raw IP packets in novel ways to determine what hosts are available on the network, what services, application name and version, those hosts are offering, what operating systems, and OS versions, they are running, what type of packet filters, firewalls are in use, and dozens of other characteristics. While MAP is commonly used for security audits, many systems and network administrators find it useful for routine tasks such as network inventory, managing service upgrade schedules, and monitoring host or service uptime. The output from MAP is a list of scan targets, with supplemental information on each depending on the options used. Key among that information is the interesting ports table. That table lists the port number and protocol service name, and state. The state is either open, filtered, closed, or unfiltered. Open means that an application on the target machine is listening for connections, packets on that port. Filtered means that a firewall, filter, or other network obstacle is blocking the port so that map cannot tell whether it is open or closed. Closed ports have no application listening on them, though they could open up at any time. Ports are classified as unfiltered. When they are responsive to MAP's probes, but MAP cannot determine whether they are open or closed. MAP reports the state combinations open vertical bar filtered and closed vertical bar filtered when it cannot determine which of the two states describe a port. The port table may also include software version details when version detection has been requested. When an IP protocol scan is requested, so, MAP provides information on supported IP protocols rather than listening ports. In addition to the interesting ports table, MAP can provide further information on targets, including reverse DNS names, operating system guesses, device types, and MAC addresses. Here are top 7 MAP NSE scripts for Recon. The first, it is DNS brute dots. Attempts to enumerate DNS host names by brute force guessing of common subdomains. With the DNS brute.srv argument, DNS brute will also try to enumerate common DNS SRV records. The second, it is tracer geolocation dots. Lists the geographic locations of each hop in a tracer and optionally saves the results to a KML file, plottable on Google Earth and Maps. The third, it is firewalk dots tries to discover firewall rules using an IPTTL expiration technique known as firewalking. To determine a rule on a given gateway, the scanner sends a probe to a metric located behind the gateway, with a TTL1 higher than the gateway. If the probe is forwarded by the gateway, then we can expect to receive an ICMP underscore time underscore exceeded reply from the gateway next hop router or eventually the metric itself if it is directly connected to the gateway. Otherwise, the probe will time out. It starts with a TTL equals to the distance to the target. If the probe time out, then it is resent with a TTL decreased by 1. If we get an ICMP underscore time underscore exceeded, then the scan is over for this probe. Every no reply filtered TCP and UDP ports are probed. As for UDP scans, this process can be quite slow if lots of ports are blocked by a gateway close to the scanner. Scan parameters can be controlled using the firewalk optional arguments. From an original idea of M. Schiffman and D. Goldsmith, authors of the firewalk tool, the fourth, it is HTTP sitemap generator. Spider is a web server and displays its directory structure along with number and types of files in each folder. Note that files listed as Having another extension are ones that have no extension or that are a root document. The fifth, it at HTTP methods dots. Finds out what options are supported by an HTTP server by sending an options request. Lists potentially risky methods. It tests those methods not mentioned in the options headers individually and sees if they are implemented. 
any output other than 500 1 405 suggests that the method is if not in the range 400 to 600. If the response falls under that range then it is compared to the response from the randomly generated method. In this script, potentially risky methods are anything except get, head, post, and options. If the script reports potentially risky methods, they may not all be security risks, but you should check to make sure. This page lists the dangers of some common methods. The list of supported methods comes from the contents of the allow and public header fields. In verbose mode, a list of all methods is printed, followed by the list of potentially risky methods. Without verbose mode, only the potentially risky methods are shown. The sixth, it is host domain dots. This script starts by querying the host.iana.org, which is the root of the host servers. Using some patterns the script can determine if the response represents a referral to a record hosted elsewhere. If that's the case it will query that referral. The script keeps repeating this until the response don't match with any of the patterns, meaning that there are no other referrals and prints the output. And, the seventh, it is showed an API dots. Query showed an API for given targets and produces similar output to a SV map scan. The showed an API key can be set with the API key script argument, or hard-coded in the ns file itself. You can get a free key from developer.shodan.io.n.b if you want this script to run completely passively make sure to include the SNPNN flags. Thanks for watching.